What's up guys? We're going to go through the speed ramp tutorial. The first thing you want to do is set markers where you want the transitions to occur with the music. The second thing you want to do is edit your clips. Figure out where you want to end the clip. In this case, I've got the camera panning and uh, I'm going to end it there. I typically have a little extra at the beginning because you can always trim or speed it up um, or it's going to be consumed by the speed ramp later. The other thing is with any speed ramp, it looks best when you have a normal movement. In this case, I'm uh, the camera is swinging uh, to the side and then it's going to speed ramp into a, a sign here where it, it's just zooming out. Okay. And then another one here, I've got it to pan. So if you're panning, you're tilting, as long as there's movement, it'll look fine. Okay. The other thing you need to note is it's kind of a little trial and error here. I will give you some uh, tips that I use to kind of figure this out. It, at the end of the day, it just it's just a matter of what looks the best. So like I said, where you want your transition to occur is usually where you kind of want to line things up. So what I'm going to do now is right click. Go to retime controls. I'm going to get rid of this, uh, the side here, the left side, because I'm going to need a lot of space and I want to zoom in. Okay, so we're going to zoom in here so that we have enough, we can see everything. And then right at this point where I think I want to start my transition, let's see, right about there, so a little more than eight, is where I'm going to put a speed ramp. Okay, so you just actually have to click this drop down. Uh, block and it will put us at a speed point right at the point of the cursor All right now here's the other uh, adjustable part you kind of have to figure out what looks well depending on how quickly the shot is transitioning or panning or tilting uh, will determine how much you speed this up I found that somewhere between usually 400 and a thousand or six you know 1200 is usually where I end up uh, in this case, it looks pretty good around uh, 400. So you can just select that. If you needed it higher than this, I'll show you later um, how to adjust that. You can... But in my case, I'm going to do it around 400. And I'm going to adjust this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh. Let's adjust this a little bit. You just click this uh, bottom bar and you can adjust the location of the speed ramp. All right. Ah, I'm going to have to extend this. It looks like it moved it back. All right. Let's go in a little bit. So like I said, it's just kind of really trial and error. Let's cut it here. All right. I like that. I think that works. Okay, so that's the first clip, really straightforward. The second clip, I'm going to, it's already been edited, so I'm going to also right click, retime controls, and I'm going to go out here, I'm just going to go out here right about there and just drop in a speed point, and I'm going to bump this up to, this one, the zoom out is pretty slow, so I'm going to bump it up to about 800. Let's go there. I'm going to adjust this. Let's see. Start here at the beginning. Ah, I don't have to go far at all. So we're going to do it right about there. I think that looks fine. All right, so let's look at this together. We're just going to manually cursor, advance it. Yeah, it looks pretty smooth. Maybe I want to adjust this just a bit. So I'm going to use the uh, this tool. Let's go this direction. All right. All right. Let's move this a little bit to the left. Okay. Ah, that's pretty good. All right. Let's leave that there. Let's adjust these clips to put it right at the transition point. So let's see how it sounds to the music. Looks good. All right, I'm going to trim this here so that it matches up with this 
uh, last marker. Now, before I leave here, I'm going to show you something um, that you can also consider. Uh, if you do a right click and retime control or curve, if you if you want to smooth it out, you can uh, select the uh, the uh, keyframe and then uh, click uh, this here, and you can smooth it out. Um, but if you need to adjust speed uh, above 800 you can click here retime speed and then just so you can adjust it or fine tune it anywhere in between those intervals that are on the drop down okay so that's all you have to do all right the watch out here is it does move your footage so you kind of need to play around with this and adjust it to, to match how you want but that's the way to do it okay I'll redo this turn this off click the X here click this all right so we're out of there all right, so we're going to go to the next clip. The, the other clip I already have edited, but I do want to show you some other tips uh, that you can use to make the speed ramp transition uh, look a little more seamless. Uh, and you do this where you have a little dissimilar images. So you'll notice here I've got a blur, a horizontal blur as it uh, pans across to the second image and all you have to do to get that is if you go here to color and I just have directional blur so I turn that on with a keyframe if you want to uh, learn about keyframes you can check one of my other tutorials but basically you just turn on the keyframe for the directional blur and I put 180 degree angle reflect and that's it and then turn it off right before uh, you can complete the movement okay so guys, if you got any questions, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you've got other recommendations on tutorials that you'd like me to do. More than happy to come up with some. Thanks. Peace.